Hey there, my name's Ashley, and I want to show you my technique that I've sort of come up with on using carpet gripper. For removing carpet gripper, we had, you can see how wood floors behind you, and we wanted, there was carpet in here, we had to remove, we removed it. And now what remains are some staples in this pesky carpet gripper. I guess it works really well, but it's really uh, frustrating to get out, uh, just time consuming because I want to preserve the hardwood and have minimal uh, fill ins touch-ups as possible. So what is this carpet gripper stuff? Well, this brand is just it's a quarter inch plywood with half inch nails forced through it and then that's fastened with what appears to be a one inch nail. Now I'm not a professional carpenter. I'm a do-it-yourself kind of guy so I've got basic tools. I'm sure if a professional does this all day long they would scoff at this but this is what I have available to me. So just a flat screwdriver cat's paw and sort of a, another type of claw and a regular hammer. So I tried it off starting a few different ways and I figured this might be helpful for hopefully one person because uh, it's taken a few attempts, a few gouges. So we're trying to maintain the integrity of the floor and essentially what I've come up with, well when I started we we're trying to use the cat's paw to get at the, and what would make sense, trying to get to the access the head of the nail. That didn't work, because as you watch, this material is really It's tough to get a bite on these little nails and they bend. So that didn't, that wasn't really effective. Uh, then what I was trying to do was uh, sort of lift it and axe, kind of move it, or I was doing something to try to lift it. And what was happening is I was either gouging it with a screwdriver, obviously that's probably not the proper instrument, but that's what we have. I'm only going to do this once in my life. Or that didn't really work. And then I was trying to use this to get underneath. So what it's really come down to is sort of a destructive, a destructive process uh, of the carpet gripper. And you have to take in consideration the position of these uh, half inch nails when you're uh, trying to do this. But the quickest way I've found is to sort of delaminate so I'm, I'm not touching the hardwood floor, I'm just getting into the material itself and then getting underneath and then just breaking. And if it lifts off the nail, that's great, and if it doesn't, so I'm going to try this again. And we'll just go here again. So we'll just lift, Let's see if I can get that in there. Get that in shot. So we'll just... Lift, get under, break, and there's my nail now, often. And this has a, a flat enough surface that, I mean, I probably should be placing something under here, but I haven't had any problems with this in terms of like placing cardboard. And out comes my nail. And of course I'm going to have to touch that up with some sort of filler. But what I was experiencing when I started was the first couple I was making these, I'll show you it right after this, huge gouges. Every situation is different, but this is, seems to be the most uh, easy to reproduce and efficient. And with that, this little piece here, now I can just break it off and have access to the nails. The nail heads up. Let me just show you what I was, the, the gouges that I was doing. So this is what I'm talking about here. So you can see that as I was first trying to remove this, I was pushing the nail this way. So you want to avoid that. I mean, I guess you don't have to, you can still fill it in, but it's a larger hole. So I hope that little tutorial, I'm sure there's many different tools and many different ways, but this is just one way if you're going to the hardware store and you're about to figure out how to take this material off, this may uh, speed up your journey. Cheers. So I just finished another room, the other room I showed you, and now I'm into a different room with different hardwood. And I found that it's actually much easier. So you may watch the other video and I go to do it and be like, wow. Why didn't you do this? So what I found is that I can just continue to pull. So I'll do the same start technique. And depending on the hardwood that into which your carpet gripper is fastened, you may just be able to pick it up.
So I may be able to take off the whole strip at once, which is much faster than the other wood. So depending on the type of wood into which it's fastened, maybe easy or extremely painful. Cheers.